Hello there, Geminis. Welcome to your weekly reading. All right, so the first five cards here is your love relationship romantic life spread, and the second five cards deal with um, overall energy, spiritual advice, and whatnot. Um, first of all, very, very, very big week when it comes overall to your uh, love relationships. And I feel like um, Gemini single, it's going to be a really romantic a week full of options and full of people coming to you with proposals, making their intentions known, and coming to you with an outpouring of their emotions. And it's going to make you feel very loved, wanted, and appreciated, okay? And the reason I say that is um, the first card deals overall your with your energy. And we have here the Six of Wands. This is a card about uh, accomplishments, achievements. Um, getting a lot of recognition, being in the limelight, and having a lot of people kind of look at you. And um, because of the sheer level of visibility you're getting in your environment, people can't help but notice. They see you as someone who's very successful. They see you as someone who takes charge, takes initiative, takes action, independent as well. And someone who is uh, who inspires to lead others, okay? And because you're in the limelight, a lot of people are going to be looking at you the way you dress, the way you look. You're going to have a wide following. So for I feel like for some of you who might have social media accounts, um, there will be an uptick when it comes to your followers, when it comes to... Um, you know, like getting just like a fan base, developing a fan base. But I feel like on the love front, this is a card where you have all eyes on you and you command a lot of attention and you're getting very, very positive uh, reception from the people, um, your admirers. We definitely have as well a person that is coming towards you um, that is offering their love and that is giving you, um, you know, their... Uh, an offer okay so this is somebody who's very sincere we have a potentially a water sign a Pisces Cancer Scorpio or somebody who's very loving very maternal very uh, nurturing and I feel as if there is a really strong emotional connection between you and this person so for those who are single uh, I feel like you know a more mature person either emotionally mature or physically more mature than you are biologically and they're coming in to make this love offer to make their feelings known and i feel if you have been waiting around and wondering you know are they going to make a move do they or do they not like me um i feel like this is the the week where they're going to make their intentions known towards you for those who are single i definitely see options and choices and decisions that are going to have to be made okay and what we have here is the lovers and the lovers choices crossroads turning points and i also feel as well you know with this angel in the picture it's sort of like you're connecting with somebody that is complementary to you so for example um they have things that you're lacking and you have things that they're lacking so it's a complementarity two people who are very very different coming together because it's preordained it's faded and it's meant to be um, you could be, you know, right-handed, they're left-handed. You could be tall, they're short. You could be uh, very good at, you know, the, the, the STEM um, subjects like math, science, engineering, and all of that. And they could be a little bit more on the artistic um, English, you know, um, side. Okay, so like they're good at literature, English, more creative stuff. So I feel like this is a, a complementarity. It's two people who are who complement each other very, very well. And because of that, it's something that is fated, something that is ordained, and something that is really created specifically for you. And hence, you know, the crossroads. You also have another suitor that's coming into the picture. With this queen, I get a very strong Cancerian vibe. And then with this one, this other person, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, possibly as well another Gemini. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is linked up here with the devil, so I feel like it could potentially be an earth sign. And so you have two suitors that are um, possibly coming into the picture. One of them is um, very nurturing, okay? And um, I feel like Honestly, I feel like this could also be your energy 
where somebody makes you feel emotionally very nurtured. They care for you, they praise you, they look up to you, they admire you. They could also have a lot of suitors on their heels. Like there's somebody that is also visible in the limelight. They have a wide following. They might be on social media as well. And it's somebody that you've been waiting on and they're quite popular. So you don't know if you know they have eyes specifically for you. And if that's the case, I feel like they're gonna be offering something concrete and it's going to, um, it's something long awaited is what I'm hearing. So it's, it's not something that's new. It's somebody that has been in the picture and it's been like a long awaited offer that's gonna make you feel really good. And then for others of you, if you're straddling two worlds and trying to decide between two people, I have water sign, earth sign, Gemini, another Gemini and a Capricorn. And with this other person, there's really, really, really strong attraction. There is really great chemistry. There is just, you know, you, you like each other's physique. You like the way they walk. You like the way they carry themselves, the way they hold their stance. And I feel like there, it's been like a really slow, so slow. It's been so slow. And you're just like, is it, or is, is it not going to happen? I need to know because you know you have that impatient streak about you as well and i feel like you know they they're they're always very stable and very consistent <clears throat> if you're dealing with this person and they take forever um and you, you know because they take so long you're on the verge of wanting to give up i just want you to know that they really care very deeply about you but there is a little bit of shyness about this person and this person is also somebody who takes commitment very very seriously and they cannot commit until they have all the cards laid out and i'm hearing um i can't make a decision until it's in front of me so you were waiting on this person or they were waiting on you they were waiting for something a little bit more concrete and they can't really make a decision until all the cards are on the table or until that offer is on the table so it's going to be the week where this culminates and this is going to break through and they're going to inch forward or towards you i see a lot of intense chemistry here with this person and so i feel like you know it's a good time for you to really truly decide on um narrowing down your options and, and you know picking a person that would be a really good match for you. One person's very nurturing emotionally. The other person excites you. They bring a lot of passion and chemistry. And uh, I don't feel like it's bad because the people are in the upright position. So I just feel like with this devil energy, it deals more with that chemistry. So let me see, what does the devil pertain to here? I feel like this speaks more to couples. This speaks more to couples. Um, for those of you who are already committed in a relationship, you might have temptation and other options coming into the picture, okay? And I feel like you might be with this person here, and this is a person, and I feel like this is the way you feel about this person. They gave you the love and the support and the nurturing and all of the good things so that you can be who you are right now. So you kind of attribute your success, your glory to the love and the support and to the, 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 the help that this person has given you. And so there's a sense of indebtedness of coming back to this person because they have been there from the time you were at the bottom of that totem pole until now when you're on top of the heap. So you feel like you're obligated to them. You feel like, yes, there's love. There's definitely love. And that energy is very pure and very soft and very sincere. Um, but it feels to me like, you know, they were there for you from, from the, through the rough times. And so you feel like you're going to be there for them no matter what. And yet you have a new spark of chemistry with a new person. And they're making their uh, feelings known. They're making their intentions known. And it's a really strong attraction that you have with another person. So because of that, I feel like, you know, this four of wands is like a marriage, a stable relationship. Do I forsake my stable relationship for this new offer that can be potentially very um, physically gratifying? Or do I need to, you know, leave my relationship 
and sever ties so that I can pursue new things or even leave my relationship sever ties so that I can you know move forward so I definitely feel you have some really strong candidates coming in and um, you're you, many of you are going to be reassessing your major relationship and see if it's still go it's still meeting your emotional needs and if it's still worth uh, fighting for okay in other areas of your life you have this energy here with the fool and the fool is kind of like wanting to start a brand new journey wanting to forge a new path for ourselves wanting to experiment and try something new and just kind of um, grab life by the horns and not have to think so heavily about our responsibilities our fears and, and self-limiting talks that really keep us bogged down so i feel like you have been wanting a new start for quite some time and you might be feeling very restless this uh week and you might also want to you know just kind of um follow the beat of your own drums and not have to deal with other people or not have to work under the mandates of other people um, i have a, a figure here with the emperor the emperor is in the reverse position so this is a, po a position of authority you might have somebody in the work environment that is exerting a lot of pressure on you or they're telling you to do things a certain way and it might run counter to your own way of doing things your own processes and i feel like you know with the emperor in the reverse is somebody who's a little bit tyrannical they want my way or the highway they can be a little bit difficult to work with they can be a little bit ruthless as well where they're not very sympathetic or they're not understanding of what you need as an employee in order to thrive so i feel like you you've got somebody that's a little bit difficult to work with and Honestly, this can be male or female with this emperor here. So I feel like many of you, the relationship front is going really well. The um, work front, it's a little bit more challenging because it seems like you've got a little bit of a tyrant in your midst. And this person really cramps your style and really kind of rains on your parade and forces you into a little bit more of a rigid structure when you just want to, you know, have your own leisure and work at your leisure or do things that you feel is appropriate for your own needs okay um so that's a energy that you have to contend with and you know it's the major arcana cards with the fool and the emperor so i see that energy coming out very strongly for those of you um working and then i'm also seeing as well family considerations we have the queen of wands as well as the hermit and the page of cups page of cups in the reverse this is usually like you know children the hermit usually deals with like looking at insights, looking a little bit deeper, looking into how we can, you know, think about children, child rearing practices. So because there is a little bit of a breakdown, possibly in a significant relationship um, or in a marriage, I feel like roles are being redefined here in the house unit. And we're going to have to look at our parenting techniques versus our partner's parenting techniques and whether or not that's conducive to you know it, for example mom might be very lenient you know uh, dad might be very very strict so whichever category you find you fall into and i feel like gemini parents are usually not very strict they're very lenient with their kids they're a little bit more playful with their kids as well so one person might be very strict and you might not want that and so redefining the role compromising as well as figuring out you know what's appropriate for our child so that he or she can thrive like do they need that structure or do they need the freedom so these um roles regarding parenting that's going to be coming into the picture as well um, I'm also seeing as well, you're dealing with a, a fire sign. So this is a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo. This is somebody that is very independent. And they're so independent that it's really hard for them to kind of like see, see anything. Oh, how do I put this? So if this is a family member, and I feel like it could very well be a family member, a boss as well. Um, they have their my way or the highway types of uh, mentality, right? 
you're looking into their motives, you're looking into why they are so rigid, why are they behaving this way, and why are they, you know, the way that they are. And you're trying to understand them, you're trying to also figure them out, and you're trying to um, wrap your head around, you know, just their, their personality quirks and why they're so rigid. And I feel a lot of it has to do with just, you know, the, the sheer fact that they get things done, they're highly internally motivated, and they don't need other people for validation the way that you do, Geminis. And so you're going to get a very big insight and snippet into somebody's motive, somebody's character, and you're going to start to feel as well that, you know, reach a mutual understanding so that the two of you can work together, so that the two of you can have a better understanding of each other's dynamics, so that the relationship or the friendship or the, the communication flows better between the two of you. So this is overall, I feel like, a very powerful week for many of you. Lots of communication coming through, and I believe it was like this... I think this was in the reverse. I can't remember now. Uh, lots of communication coming through. And I also feel for many of you, um, the end of a relationship and communicating that and trying to move on with your life as well. Okay. So best of luck to you guys. I hope the reading is helpful. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.